In terms of like when people pick up the phone, most people that are running our leads, especially IUS are saying it's a very seamless conversation. But for the people, I guess, what's kind of like the expectation for that intro? Is there a specific script you recommend that people use? Or do you recommend people just kind of come in and be themselves in terms of like speaking to these people when they're, when they're dialing? Yeah. So I'm always against the norm. Everyone, you know, in the insurance industry is always script, 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 you know, read verbatim. You, you're trying to be like everyone else at that point. I really believe most definitely that intro, you, you have to be yourself. You have to stand apart. So that's whatever your personality is. Mine, that military background, I'm more of a rough individual going in. So I, I, I'm direct with them. I don't know, before this, you used to be like, hey, here, here's a fake sinner that, you know, we, we worked at to try to, you know, ease the transition here. It's just, Hey, look, I'm a broker and you were possibly looking at some index universal life policies. Are you at work busy or can you go grab a pen to take notes and just go straight into it? They know exactly when I, when I say index universal life, they know what I'm talking about. So mm -hmm. there's, they're like, I don't have to try to be someone I'm not. I can literally be myself. Right. And it works for me. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So for that intro, you're just calling, letting them know, hey, getting back to you, Facebook request, IUL, straight to the point. Nothing special. Man, I don't, I don't, I don't even go that far. I literally just say you, you were possibly looking for some information on Index Universal Life, and let them spark the conversation from there. However, the conversation goes is how I go from there. I don't try to guide it. I let them tell me everything I need to know. Okay. Okay. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Most people are booking appointments for these. Are you booking appointments as well? Or are you doing one call close? What is your strategy when it comes to like after that intro? Hey, are you kind of set, sending them a Zoom link or is it like, hey, we're getting this taken care of today? What's your strategy? For yeah. So in the beginning, I thought it was going to have to be all Zoom. Like I was getting them on a Zoom, going through screen sharing, doing all that. And then I realized that's just complicating the system. Mm -hmm. If you can clearly understand the product, which again, you know, not everyone does, but if you can clearly understand it, I have gotten to the process. And once you get a system and a team in process, like I do do just straight call to closes, but it is a good healthy mix of booked appointments. Okay. And that's just merely to the fact of I, I'm building a business at the same time. I, I can't just be on the phone all the time. So I do have people booking, but I do also do call closes. And I mean, my call to close rate is once I get them on the phone, it's like a 70%. I can call to close them on the okay. spot. Okay. Okay. I like that. So that's an interesting strategy. So for the agent who, and, and I think you'll be a good person to ask for the agent who's typically running final expense, right? That's all they've ran. They've ran maybe a little mortgage. What would you say to them if they're interested in working with us and getting these leads? Like what strategy would you recommend them do? Would you recommend the book appointments? Would you recommend them try to do the one call close? Do they need to get a team? Or from your experience, what do you think would be the best route for them? Because most people probably are in the same situation you are mm -hmm. in terms of you know, building an infrastructure, but just for that agent who's like, man, I really want to get into this. What would you say to them? For, for the ones that are really trying to break out, I would try to do one call closes. And then if it turns into, let's just say a discovery into, Hey, let me get back to you in, you know, 30 minutes with an illustration to go through it. That would be more something up their alley other than saying, Hey, let me just default straight to zoom and open myself up to a thousand questions I can't control. So mm -hmm. for me, it's control my environment as much as I can. And if I can control it over the phone and then transition into saying, Hey, look, I'm going to build you out an illustration. Let's jump back on the phone, go through the numbers with him over the phone, start the app application and send everything over to him to sign at one time wow. to simplify the process instead of what most people do is book an appointment, do a discovery, then book a follow-up appointment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like you're shooting yourself in the foot because most of these people, like we were saying, or like uh, I started to say there in the beginning, when you get them on the, the lower scale, the three to 500 selection, yep. you got to get them that, you got to get them that moment. If not, they don't want to commit. They're scared. They're just like the final expense. Hey, we're in the realm of having to make the decisions for them. They know it's a good idea, but we have to pull the trigger for them and help them on the spot. If not, they become into the follow-ups and the follow-ups and the follow-ups. 